My inspiration for the most part has been anything that I'm interested in. And mostly what I'm interested in is nature and scenery and old barns or buildings. I've done a little bit of everything, people, um, animals, but mostly I like scenery. It's more forgiving. That seems to be what really interests me. A good photograph um, that tells a story. I also will do that. Um, and I do some commission paintings, but I won't do the painting unless I think it's something that I like. Uh, um, the process I go through is I pick out a painting or a picture that I like. I prefer to do um, something from my own photographs or a photograph that somebody else has taken and use that. I encourage students to use their own photographs too. That also involves them more so that they have to do that problem solve solving them. How do I do this? What do I do first? My process is I usually enlarge the picture so I can see it. So if it's a small picture, I enlarge it so that it's going to be almost the size of my paper. And then I make a grid and, um, of the painting or the picture and then transfer that onto my watercolor paper. I don't like to draw on watercolor paper unless it's a really simple um, drawing because watercolor paper is very sturdy, but it also has a tooth to it, a roughness. And if you have to erase on that a lot, it will um, tear it up and then you can't get um, as much precision with your painting. After I do the drawing, I kind of set it aside for a while and then come back to it and see if anything in the picture is bothering me. Is, you know, is something in the wrong place? Did I forget about some of the rules of drawing? Like, put my focal point right in the middle, which isn't bad sometimes, but sometimes you don't want it right in the middle. Um, then I start to paint, and I usually paint from the background and light colors going towards the darker colors. Um, I love things that are loose. I love the washiness of watercolors. I love the magic of watercolors. There's times when you just look at it and you think, oh, it just painted itself, you know? I encourage people to try it, and I, in my classes, I also tell students, I teach watercolor painting. I do not teach drawing. We'll draw the pictures for most of the people who want to paint the same picture that I just painted, and I've already solved all the problems. I've solved, like, where to put things, how to move things, so they don't have to do, make any of those decisions, and now that we're on quarantine, they're doing their own paintings from their own pictures, and they're having to solve those problems, which I think is really good for them. Then they paint. They paint, and I will do a demonstration showing them how I started. Um, for some of the people that are more advanced, I don't paint the whole picture in front of them. I just say, okay, here's how you're going to do the rocks. Here's how I did the trees. Here's where you start first. And then I may, might show them a little bit, but I'm not going to paint the whole picture in front of them. I said, it's your picture, not mine. And we're always amazed in class how it's the same drawing but they're all different, they're all different. And they will compare themselves to each other, they'll compare themselves to me. And I said, take it home, put it away for two weeks, and then bring it out, and you're gonna be amazed. You're gonna think, wow, I did a good job. Because you don't have anybody else around you that you're saying, oh, I like that, or I like that from their drawing. Everybody's different, and we all are artists, and we all have uh, a little creative bone in us, and we should exercise it. Um, my advice, is to join a class. Um, it's much easier to join a class and you get inspired by all of the other people in the class and you see what they're doing and you sometimes will think, oh, I wanna do that too, or I wanna try that. And that's motivating. And you start, and if you start in one of my classes, you start at the beginning and I start to show you the washes and how watercolors work. And, and before you know it, you're painting a whole big picture and taking it home and getting it framed.